Welcome to Vivid View with Ahilis Talk Show. Many thanks to God. Vivid View. Say and go. Ahilis Corner. Regret is dead, but love remains. This simply means or talks about forgiveness. Whatever you have done or somebody has done to you that causes you regret, perhaps you helped somebody in the time past and the person never show up, did not appreciate it, and you regretted helping somebody. Or you regretted taking action that you never wanted before because of one thing or the other. Just put that regret behind and forge ahead and move on with love. Love supersedes everything. Let love lead. So learn to forgive one another and put the past behind you. That is what that means. All right, enough of that. We continue with the program for today. Believe it or not, religious practice promotes the well-being of families, individual, society, and the world at large or nation at, at large. In Fordrance, promoting ethnic and religious ties is the topic for today's discussion. Don't go anywhere, please, as we observe this short break. When we come back, the guest will be introduced. Vivid View. Say and do it. Welcome back. In case you're just joining us, promoting ethnic and religious ties is the topic for today's discussion. And with me in the studio is a legal practitioner. Let's welcome Fumi Ebofin. Vivid View. Say and do it. Before discussion proper, please follow us on social media handles are displayed on the screen. Fumi, you're welcome again. Thank you. Please, without much ado, let's go straight to the point. What's your perspective for today's discussion? Yes. Promoting ethnic ties and religious ties. Yeah. Before we go into promotion, I think we need to understand what ethnicity is all about and what religion is all about. Exactly. Perfectly. Ethnicity, simply put, is just a group of people bound together by particular landmark, culture, and ancestry. Religion is simply, straight to the point, individual spiritual affiliations. That's simply put. Now, how can we promote this? I'm a very, very strong believer of your family ties. Everything you want to do it starts from the home. The home is the first place where all these things, the foundation is laid to promote all these things. Mm -hmm. Your ethnicity, your religious background, you will agree with me, from the home you were born into. All right? So how do we promote these things as a people, as a family, as parents? Community and even as a nation. Yeah. As a nation yeah. at large. How do we promote all these things? It's by instilling the values that we hold there. If you don't have these values, what are you instilling in the youth? If you as an adult, as a nation, you don't have these values, what are you instilling in the people, in the younger ones, in the younger generation? So simply put, promoting ethnicity and religious ties, ties starts from the home. And the way you can start from the home is at a very young age, begin to instill these values, begin to instill these ties in the young, in the upcoming generation. Yes, thank you so much. So how does religion contribute to society and culture? Ah, in a lot. <laughs> That's a very, very wide one, yeah. especially taking into consideration our own unique, mm. um, diverse country that we find ourselves. Nigeria as a country, we are a people of diverse ethnicity, yes, so. culture, religion. We have been known to have the, the most common religion that we have. Is we, people will tell you two, mm -hmm. but I, I will confidently tell you that yeah, we have more, that. We are more than that. Definitely. Yes, the most common one we have the Christians, the Muslims, Islam. Yeah. The, yes, but very we have uh, Judaism <laughs> beginning to crop up in Nigeria now. Mm -hmm. You have the traditionalists and all that. They are also beginning to have. A voice. Mm -hmm. So whether you like it or not, these are things that our religion um, values has a lot to do with us as a nation. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> just to add to what you have just said, religion, as a matter of fact, promotes or provides a frame of reference for understanding the world. 
and for guiding personal and communal actions. Why did he promote or provide reference? We found out that some of the laws abiding us in the whole world are really anchored from the Ten Commandments in the Bible. That is true. What I'm talking about, uh, human law, she's there, she's a, she's a legal practitioner. They anchor from the, they are borrowed from the Bible, and then maybe a little less expansion. You, you know, stealing all over the place is condemned all over the world. Armed robbery is condemned all over the world. And remember what one of the commandments, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not kill. So some of these things are really embedded or anchored to the world. That's why religion is so important because it helps us, guides us. You know, it controls us. It leads us in whatever decision we want to take. That's why in, my, in, my, in the introduction I mentioned that, that it promotes the well-being of individual, families, community, and the nation at large. That is really the work of religion. And I'll take a break and I'll come back and we'll continue. Vivid View, say and do it. This is Vivid View.